Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Belan. Today I am at the Teslim Balogun Stadium and there is currently a renovation and rehabilitation ongoing at this stadium which is being done by the Lagos State Government. I'll be showing you around and I'll be giving an update about the ongoing rehabilitation. Presently the roofing is being done. I will try and fly my drone and show you an area view so you can see there's the roofing will be done, the cladding will be done and as well the pitch, the grassing on the pitch is going to also be changed. So I'll be flying my drone and show you around, around this stadium so you can see the ongoing renovation. Hopefully once this renovation is completed I'll be here again to compare both during renovation and after renovation. So guys stick around and let me show you around the Tesla Balo Goon Stadium undergoing renovation, undergoing a facelift at the moment and hopefully this project should be completed before the end of 2024. So stick around, let me show you an area view and we'll be right back. So guys, I tried flying my drone, but I keep getting this error in gimbal stock and I've been on it for over an hour. So I won't like, I won't like a situation where I won't be able to give you an update about what's happening right here. So guys, I will just be moving around. I'll be moving around the stand and I'll be showing you what is actually happening. Hopefully I should be able to get just a few clips about the area view online because my drone is all stuck now. I uh, will try and fix that later, but let me just move around and show you the updates about the Tesla Balogun, the ongoing construction. Presently, it's just the roofing and the cladding that is ongoing. The pitch, the VIP section, will also, and the tracks will also be getting a facelift as well. But let me try and show you around so you can see what's actually happening right here at Tesla Balogun Stadium. As a content creator, these are the kind of challenges we face every time we are out here making content which we don't usually show you guys we, we still try as much as possible to give you the best we can in making this content even though my drone will be my drone is disappointing me today i've been here for more than two hours trying to fix it but i couldn't get it fixed but not still standing i will still need to show you the update about this stadium ongoing the facelift presently ongoing in front of me I'll switch the camera, you see construction worker working on the roofing where I was before. The, the roofing has been done in that particular session, but in front of me, you see construction worker. I would have loved to show you the area view. If I'm not able to show you now, hopefully in one of my short video, once I fix my drone, I'll be coming back here to show you guys the area view, the full area view about what's happening right here. So guys, let me switch my camera to where construction is actually happening now and you can see what is being done here at the Tesla Balogun Stadium. So this is the VIP stand. I'm actually at the VIP stand now.
due to the fact that I'm not wearing a safety gear, I don't like to move too much closer to where construction is happening because of safety reason. But I am sure you will be able to see some few clips of where construction is actually ongoing on the roofing around that particular spot. So let me just take you to the VIP. The VIP lounge is actually locked. I would have loved to show you how the VIP lounge looks, but let me show you the entrance of the VIP, which is also going to be getting a facelift. Though I feel disappointed that I couldn't get an area view, but I know every disappointment is a blessing and I know I will probably be coming back here even if not during the construction, after the construction, I'll be coming back to show the full details and give you the area view once I'm able to fix my drone. It's just so, so disappointing guys, but hopefully I'll be able to get one or two clips online and probably insert it and show you the area view of how this place is looking like i'm so sorry i couldn't do i couldn't get the area view myself but i will definitely search online for a clip i can insert to show you the area view of how the Teslin balogun stadium is looking like i'm a little bit devastated but there's nothing i can do that much than just keep on creating content even if there is disappointment like this you don't let it deter you you move ahead and you create another content and you keep on creating content and i know one day most of you guys will really appreciate what we are doing i know some of you really appreciate but most of you don't i really appreciate what we do there's a lot that we are behind the scene that we don't even come out to share with you guys on the screen just that this one just really put me down but not still standing i didn't let it deter me i was still able to go around to show you guys what the new stadium is looking like most of the challenges we have in this country is not about rehabilitating or building new structures building the stadium is not an issue but maintaining it right here is the Teslin Balogun Stadium just some few meters away from here is the National Stadium I've, I've shown you guys an update about the stadium but the condition is not something appealing when last as even Nigerian team any of the teams any of the Nigerian teams or any sports in, sporting event happen on the national stadium turf the only place being used as a national stadium is just the indoor the, in, the indoor the indoor complex the pitch is in a horrible state i know there was an ongoing rehabilitation but what has come out of it so once this rehabilitation and upgrading is done how will the lagos state government be maintaining this i'm hoping to see a lagos based team that will be playing here week in week out at least few fans will be able to come here and even watch some interesting football matches presently i know there's a team in lagos that plays at the onikon stadium i've been there once to watch a football match hopefully one of these days i'll be going to the onikon stadium to make a live vlog about the nigerian premier league I'm going to the stadium to watch one of the nigerian premier league play football yes onikon stadium is being used we have the Teslin Balogun, and these are not the only stadium currently going under rehabilitation. There are still some mainly football pitch as well going under renovation. We have the Agege Stadium and some other stadiums as well, some little stadiums in other different parts, in other different parts of Lagos. So I'm hopeful 
the Lagos State government will be able to maintain this stadium over a long period of time or probably concession it, give it to a private firm, let them manage it properly, let them make revenue. There is a lot of revenue to be made from, from stadiums. A lot of us watch Premier Leagues week in, week out. Look at the ticket sales. There are a lot of things we, they can, we can use to encourage people to come and watch live matches at the stadiums. But why can't we maintain these facilities? Maintenance is the main key. So guys, I was able to get the area view footage, courtesy of the Lagos State Government, showing the present state of the roofing and cladding done so far. As you can see, construction is still ongoing. And I will also be showing clips of the area view before the roofing was done. So you can check out the view before it was done. So guys, please do make sure to share this content, subscribe, like, and give your comments, give your thoughts about what you think.